This is the seventh and final video in a series explaining why ClickHouse is fast. In this video, we'll learn about its meticulous attention to detail. ClickHouse has specialized components for different data types and workload patterns. One example is aggregations. In our last video, we learned about the techniques used to make it fast to sum the column C in our table. But now let's say we want to sum column C, but grouped by column B. The fastest way to aggregate data per grouping key is to use an in-memory hash table with the grouping column as the key and the aggregated column as the value. And those values get updated as we go through the data for each key. Now, most systems would have one implementation of a hash table that tries to cater for the general case, but not ClickHouse because in the words of Andy Pavlo, ClickHouse is a freak system. So depending on the data type of the grouping columns, the estimated cardinality and many other factors, the fastest hash table is selected at runtime individually for each aggregation query from over 30 different hash table implementations. You can read more about the hash table implementations in this blog post. And hash tables are just one example of specialized components in ClickHouse. The same goes for algorithms. For example, when sorting data, you might consider, what are we sorting? Is it numbers, tuples, strings, structures? Is the data in RAM? Is the sort required to be stable? Should all data be sorted or will a partial sort suffice? If the data characteristics aren't known in advance, ClickHouse will try various implementations and choose the one that works best at runtime. And this, is the end of our Why is ClickHouse Fast series of videos. If you'd like to go into more detail on any of the parts, you can read the web version of our VLDB 2024 scientific paper.